It is a frosty cold morning. Look at that window. Boy. It reminds me of uh, life in Wisconsin in the winter. Oh yeah. Woo! Everything out here is crunchy, frosty, glistening, covered in frost. Do you think our canned goods stayed good down there? Yes, sir. What about the deer? I hope so. You hope so? It should be good. Uh, can you guys see? Maybe you can't see how sparkly it is, but all this is covered in frost. Oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. Now you guys should be able to see it. All them little frosts. Yep, if that deer was hanging, the outside of it at least would be frozen. <clears throat> Let's see if we can slide these over. You know how to just pull this one back? Is it? Go to that side and just pull it back. That'll work. Oh man, look at how frosty that is. Ooh. Let's see if we got a temp change in here. Oh, I need my flashlight was interesting, some of the thought process. Um, got a bunch of sun chokes that I dug up. I didn't have to, I could have left them in the soil. But I dug a bunch up, put them in buckets. We uh, still have some available on our Etsy site. But um, I was like, boy, how do I have these where they won't freeze? Sometimes I tuck them under the house. I'm like, where could I put them where they won't reach freezing temperatures? And I'm like, I'll put them in the root cellar. I'm like, what a novel idea. That's what root cellars were, you know, designed for. Now this one is not ground contact. It's not going to be a just a high humidity ground contact area for, you know, carrots and stuff. I I like carrots, but to spend everything I've spent in making this <laughs> uh, would be an insane investment for carrots. But um, it functions. It works for stuff like that too. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. oh. How is it down here? Much warmer. It's cool though, ain't it? Yeah. Is that cold to the touch? I mean, it's cold. Yeah. But it came out of a cooler or something. Can you pull it off my hand? Get a different finger too. That's all we need. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, wow, that's like, it's like it's refrigerated. <laughs> And good thing we put that there. It did catch a couple drops. Wow. So I got... This one's going to actually get set up over here. And I got another one that's going to run down this wall. Our entrance is going to be... Hmm. I got to watch that. I'm going to see where it comes out for this door. But yeah, see there's the sun chokes. Are they frozen or are they good? They're both saying a little bit less than the deer. Yeah, they're still nice, huh? Awesome. It's working, guys. And we got a ways to go. This, <laughs> like this alone changes things so much. I've actually got an old timer up the street that we've got a pretty good deal worked out. He don't hunt every year, you know, and he's pretty old. They'll, uh, they'll take out their own calves when they get big enough. They'll take out their own goats. We've helped some with that, but uh, in fact, even the helping of that, he's got a walk-in cooler. So I was like, hey, sometimes it's gonna be really cold or sometimes it's gonna be really hot after I shoot a deer and I don't wanna you know, waste the meat or have to process it all right away. So I'm like, hey, do you mind if I hang this? And he says, oh yeah. So basically I'll drop off my deer and he'll take the tenderloins out <laughs> sometime when it's over there and him and his wife can get a good meal. And uh, my deer can be safe and secure, and it's it's pretty good, a pretty good uh, workout for us as far as a, a deal. We've reached a certain beneficial, you know, agreement. And part of the reason he's had us help with butchering before is when I dropped off one of my deers to hang, he was like, "Wow, this looks nice. Like some people have a lot more hair, a lot more stuff cut up. They look a lot more mangled." He says, "This guy, he does a pretty good job." So I saw how nice and clean mine was and was like, hey, you guys want to come uh, come help butcher some stuff with us? <laughs> so we've, we've helped out with that too. 
Um, but even that walk-in cooler idea, I was thinking of maybe putting one up on top of here. I'm not sure if I will, um, but I don't think I'm always going to have space to hang stuff downstairs like that. I'm just really blessed that right now that's working. I'm going to let the frost get off this stuff and get back to this project. You think you can cover the door? Back to the top? Yeah. Are you strong enough? Yeah, just to add some rigidity. I expect if I tell the children not to come over here, they won't. But if they happen to, then they'd be less likely to crack through or fall in the gap. Thank you, son. We gotta tell mama it's working. Do you want to see root cellar progress? I do. Let's go. <laughs> A long time coming, my lady. I know, I know, I know. I'm so excited. Whoa! All right. Look at this darling. Now that's not all the can, can, cans. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. <laughs> We have to bring in more? Oh, there's more. That's so cool. And then we got to move on to jars and five gallon buckets, six gallon buckets. How do you like your hanger? Touch it on the, like the rump. Ooh, nice. How's that temp? Nice and cool. Uh-huh. And you see the pipe in the back corner? Yes. That's going to be the low pipe. And the high pipe's going to be in this corner, right up there, because here's where we're going to be opening. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense to have the high pipe here because heat will be coming in here more than anywhere else and then the little pipe over there. Okay, cool. So I'm getting there. <clears throat> this is great. <clears throat> you are getting there. Darling, there's literally canned goods, hanging meat, and uh, garden produce in here right now. Can you see the sun joke speaking up? Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. You can head in, Doc. <clears throat> it's, it's coming alive. It is. And how do you like the paint job now with the ceiling white too? I think it looks really nice with yeah. the white. Kind of crisp, so clean, nice, mm -hmm. yeah. And I mortared all the little holes around the outside. And then just kind of ran some mortar like a bead of cock around the whole outside. Yeah, we'll have to organize our can. There's a lot of canned goods. Remember you said you wanted a big like supply of canned goods? Mm -hmm. So I went out and bought like a pallet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we got a lot of that left, so. That's Good thinking, great. my lady. That's great. Well, uh, yeah. That's gonna be so cool to come in here and start looking to see what we got and pulling things out and. Kind of organizing it a bit. We're gonna, spending, we're gonna be spending a lot more time down here. Uh, That's so cool. And then out here too as the outdoor kitchen progresses. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Neat experience.
first things first. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm ready. plug that plowed it right out good 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 job we gotta get off I think there's a rag we gotta wipe it up with towel there I wonder what I used before for a connector put some of this stuff or what that's gonna be thin okay that's fine Wipe it out, buddy boy. Yeah? Good stuff, man. Woohoo! You still up there? Yeah. Ha! I can see you. All right, you did a good job. Hey, where'd you go? Right here. Thank you for your help. Thank you. <laughs> Getting things filled up in here. We got another number 10 can of what? Sweet peas? Let's see, let's see what that cost. Was that three bucks? Yeah. This was $2.95, guys. I thought, wow, Walmart debased US fiat currency. I'll gladly turn three dollars into that. Really cool in here too. Like here's my 2021 canned sucker. 2021 venison, 2022 carp, 2021 sucker, 2020, oh sorry, 2022 carp, 2022 sucker, 2022 
venison, 2023 venison, 2023 sucker, you know, working our way through, just getting it all. Giblets, giblets. Soon we're gonna have to start writing on these. I gotta pick up chalk today. Hey, darling. Yeah? You got a load for me too? Yeah. I gotta get some um, chalk soon. Some of these are filling up and being organized. You can set that on this chair here. <clears throat> we're freeing up space in the house, eh? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, oh that looks delicious. I can see. Okay. That's canned meat chickens from this year, huh? Must be, 2023? Yes. That must have been our spring batch? 720. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. This was me and the children. Oh, oh that's yeah. that batch you guys did. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So, darling, for instance, <clears throat> 2021 sucker and venison, 2022 carp, sucker, venison, 2023. Sucker, venison. Those are 2020s. We gotta eat some chicken next at some point. <laughs> but I'll get you um, chalk today, probably. Okay. And we can write some up. You have better penmanship than me, so all that. This is 2016, 2018, 2021. So it looks like we're gonna start having to have pickles and uh, pickled peppers on a regular basis to work through some of our jars. Okay. How are you Sounds liking good. it so far? It looks beautiful. Hmm. It's really neat. Look, you need some salsa verde. Green go salsa. Boom, right there. Applesauce. Monster truck made. Giblets for some giblets and gravy. It's all going to be here. You're going to be able to uh, make a shopping list for your root cellar. Mm -hmm. This is really neat. I never thought to ever have a root cellar before in my life. And what do you think now that you got one and it's starting to come alive? It's really, really cool. I've got some door plans, so. It's beautiful to see all of our things up on the shelf. It is. We put a lot of work in this for a lot of years. Um, besides just stuff like, you know, store-bought and do you see our collections? Look at how many rims we have off now. That's that. And then I've got more here. And then more here, but we shouldn't need to buy any more bands. We should just be able to reuse those. And the one reason I'm taking them all off now is that now we're storing them on a shelf. Where do we have them before? <clears throat> under the beds, That's under... Sure. And if one with no band because... gets kicked over under the bed and the top comes off, that's gonna stink and create big problems. So we left the bands on. I'm checking them now as I put them all away, but we left the bands on just in case any tipped over. I didn't want that problem in the house. I think this one must have been hard to get off. I'll be strong later. Mm -hmm. Open a jar for you. Mm -hmm. Darling, peach, elderberry, and grape jelly from this year is in here. I'm gonna make you a vineyard too as my goal and an orchard. That stuff is so good. Mm-hmm, it's a blessing. And it's just so extra special when you pull it off and you're like, we made this, guys. So. Dreams are coming true, my lady. Oh. All right, well, I'm gonna keep bringing some more food. All right, I'm gonna have to eat at breakfast at some point, too. Okay. Did y'all eat? Yes. Okay, I'll go take care of that. Okay. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. And after I get the door and figure out the uh, dumb waiter, then I'll install the handrails. Oh. Cool. I might have to custom them. I was just thinking about that. Yep. So far so good, but I want to make sure everything else functions and has availability, and then we'll add that in last. And darling, those stairs, I mean, they look fantastic considering it's just piles of discarded um, concrete. That was all different, all different widths or, you know, depths. Yeah, I'm so glad you were able to make it work. That is such a good use. Instead of having them in a pile not being useful, now I have them in a nice pile being useful. <laughs> well, and it took it took effort, but like the cost was right. All I did is take different widths of concrete slabs, busted them off about the size I wanted them, and then I mortared in between oh, okay. to put them to yeah. Some, there's a 
Yeah, with mortar in between to make them all the uh, uniform height overall. That is so cool. It looks really nice. And then I got those pins in them, darling, that drop through three. Mm -hmm. So I tied them all together. I don't know where the pin is right now. Oh, here's one. So that pin goes through this one, through the mortar in between, through that one, and then down into this one just to secure everything, darling. I've had some good thought processes through this. I like creative problem solving. is really neat. Darling, we're rich. <clears throat> preserving food is preserving life. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that someone helping or what? Oh, why is up here? Oh, yes. Does she have a can for me? She does not have a can. Oh. Are you bringing a can? Another one? Do you want those big cans too? Yeah? We're, we're going to kind of put it all in here and then pull to the house based on what we need, need and reasonability. Sure. And it'll give us a chance to clean out all our cupboards and closets and underbeds and everything and live a life that makes sense. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Love you. Bye.